Hey guys, uh, welcome to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. Uh, Herf here in our uh, breeding facility on Ragnarok. As you can see, this is yet another 231 Baryonyx, which is, you know, it's a good Baryonyx. But, uh, I will explain. <laughs> so, um, I was working on a, uh, a video, and this will be quick, I promise. We'll get to the fun stuff. Um, I have, uh, we had three Baryonyx. I think you may have seen them through some of the other episodes. Uh, and I've ended up with the perfect pair. So we have, uh, perfect male, perfect female, 231 is what they, uh, they came out as with all the best stats from all the, uh, you know, the three, I guess, two females, one male that we had. So I've got these two breeding together, uh, going for mutations. And uh, I've gone through probably... Oh, that was great to catch on camera. <laughs> uh, I've gone through probably three... Uh, I'm going to guess three dozen. I don't know. Somewhere between, you know, two and three dozen uh, eggs from these two. It, every single one is a 231. Uh, not getting, uh, you know... Uh, specifically, we're looking for some, you know... Looking to try to stack mutations to do some caving. Um... The end result is, yeah, I'm not getting any mutations, so I'm going to take a break, at least uh, for the moment, if not permanently, from, from doing that. Also, we had Spinos here. I did add a, uh, a third Spino. We found this 145 uh, that we tamed up as a 217, another female. Um, so we had a 217 male, a 224 female, which begat this 239 male Spino. Uh, so I've replaced the original uh, female one and the original male one with this guy. So now we're trying to breed him with her because she's got a slightly better melee. Uh, and so that's where we are in that breeding process. Uh, you can see he's still recovering health. But he's getting up there. Uh, so that's ongoing. Uh, I've actually gotten a couple of mutations out of these two. But... You know, mutations that, uh, you know, that, that bring up the baby to like a 220. So it's, it was, it's kind of pointless. Um, so anyway, what we want to do here today is, uh, the result is this, this is, was our previous, uh, 224 female. Um, I have been using her to sit here and kill all the undesirable... <laughs> Uh, eggs, uh, hatchlings that hatch. So she is up, you can see, 288. Um, so she was a 224, so we've gotten her up, what, 64 levels? Um, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to take her and we are going to go over to uh, the island and we're going to go at least try, like, the central cave. Uh, so, yeah, the whole point of doing the berries, right, they're not going to fight bosses, but they're great for caving. Um... And, uh, yeah, so I'm like, you know, a 288 is pretty good, and we can always just raise a 231. Uh, in fact, I've got a couple more, you know, of the original berries in our, uh, cryo fridge. So, yeah, I mean, if, if we end up losing this one for whatever dumb reason. Because Herf does something dumb. Which, as we all know, is, uh, is quite possible. So I'm going to pot her up. Uh, and I will bring you back. We're going to go over to, uh, like I said, the island. We're going to try the, the central cave, which is uh, kind of, I guess, on the map. It's kind of just to the just to the right of the the uh, the volcano. So I think we will bring. Let's see. I'm going to bring. I'm going to go with the the our, our lightning wyvern here that we've got. What are we up to here? We're up to 236 on this guy. This is an original 170. So we got 66 levels on this fine young lady. So, uh, okay, I will bring you guys back shortly. Um, I'm going to bring a couple of sleeping bags and things uh, just in case to put outside the cave. So, uh, yeah, I think that's it. I will bring you back shortly. 
Okay, guys, we are back here uh, on the island uh, at our little mini Red Orb base. Uh, we're making our way over to the cave. Um, just trying to keep an eye out here for alphas and stuff, but haven't seen much. Um, I am. Uh, I, I I managed to uh, to do kind of something dumb here. I brought I brought a shotgun that we had picked up in a drop at some point, but. I, I didn't bring any bullets, because I don't have any. <laughs> I grabbed the shotgun thinking, I'll bring a shotgun! But yeah, there's the whole issue of uh, ammo for the shotgun uh, that Herf does not possess. So, I, I did not have any gunpowder. Um, the bullets that I'd been using, I dragged over from Valgaro, so... Uh, we had about 300 to start with, and, and using a lot of those for the trank arrows, so we're pretty much out of bullets, so I gotta do some... We have plenty of metal, I just need to do the the uh, um, charcoal and uh, spark powder thing. So we're just gonna keep a quick eye out here as we go by. Thing is, every little flash of red I see, you know, is... It's a lot of it is a just event called critters, and uh, but I see the flash, I'm like Alpha, Alpha. But no, it's just you know a big red diplo. So uh, this is the volcano. Obviously, you know you're probably familiar with the map, so um, I won't give you great detailed directions on how to get here. But it's basically pretty easy to find. You just come to. Uh, To the, the, you know, with your back against the river to the right, and it's right here in this little cave, right? Uh, this little nook. So I'm gonna make sure that. Okay, this guy is on. Oh crap, you know what I didn't make was... do I have... oh, I have enough. Make a couple of sleeping bags. <laughs> I almost forgot. sleeping bags, but also we're going to be optimistic that we should not need these at all. Because, you know, we have our shotgun with no ammo. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. We've got our... really don't have much. We have a tiny little bit of food. I don't have any food for this guy. There is a uh, some water in here. So we're, we're probably going to heck up here in a second. Go through the cave, there it goes. Okay. We hear spiders. In the wall. all of these paths lead to the same place eventually. So this Baryonyx kicks a fair amount of butt. Caves are, you know, they're fun, right? They're fun. But you just get mauled. Like things are out of the... 
Everything in here is generally pretty high level. Plus it just comes out of the woodwork. This guy won't actually eat the meat, so I'm not even going to save any of it. Um, oh, that was a level 25. That's pretty wimpy. Uh, I do have diseases turned off. Um, if you've uh, if you've seen the options video, I I, I am going to make an update for that options video because I, I have made a couple of tweaks since making that before the for the start of this series. Um, but in that video, I I showed that I I do turn diseases off because you know playing solo games. Sick and dying every 10 seconds. There is plenty of challenge. I There's a spider. I keep hearing spiders, and I keep not seeing spiders. grab these with the animal, that way the animal gets it too. This one's a megalodon. Okay, cool. Oh, killed the dung beetle. Looks like he was running after me. Well, this is where you come down from the other side up top. The dung beetle's mad at me. Normally I, I bring a couple of crowd pods and I leave with dung beetles, but uh, we have one back on rag and we don't have a farm going here yet so and this is the other I don't remember what this one is stand by one this is uh... oh it's a rockwell maybe there's a third uh a third one down below too. There's usually three in these. Um ooh, Barry's gotta level up. Okay, I'm gonna pause here for one second. I'll be right back. Okay, so we've got let's see, two explorer notes. So you can see we've got uh 1100 seconds of uh, increased XP time. I expect them to start pouring out of the walls here any second. Uh, these two both go just around that pillar. here at the artifact. This cave is pretty small. It's a 140. I guess you do. Do you do reduce damage in the cave or something? Are they just all meat boosted? I don't really remember. Um... Yeah, these, uh... There's a little, like, lake or something, a pond or whatever in here. That is uh, crazy, full of piranha, probably some sarcos. <laughs> Look at that colored on it. I don't know how you would tame it. I don't know if you can tame onyx in the cave or not. I've never actually tamed an onyx. In fact, that Dimorphodon we got in the last uh, episode was the only Dimorphodon I've ever tamed. So. Turns out it was super easy. Add some more. Keep pumping up melee. Actually, if the 
there's nothing attacking me, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Once we grab the artifact, kill everything. I am going to jump in and get some fish for him. Uh, keep the tight bow of our. That, that's not good for me. Well, here's the artifact. Obviously, we have to. So we do have to jump off uh, to pick it up. Gonna run around and make sure everything is dead. There's a, a loot crate over here. Prints, Equus Saddle, and a, what is that, Mastercraft, Cloth Pants, yeah, well, that's quite a find, saw that on the Arc Black Market. So you can see, I've got this, this thing pumped up to about 20k. Oh, did I just hit wait instead? Oops. Well, oh, man, I keep hitting the wrong buttons. So I want to drop some of this meat. Uh, or all of it, in fact. And we're going to go jump in this. So we got the artifact. Get out of here. Recoil, so when you hit them, you take damage when you hit them, which is kind of annoying. But it's not too, uh, not too bad. So this is going to be a crap ton of 
Marauder in here. There's one more. Right. Fish, whoops. Yeah, alright, we finally get some fish. You can start to heal. Sorry, this is so dark here. Um, can't remember if there is a spot. I'm just going to go under, so it's going to go dark here for a second. The parry has this fantastic stun attack. Uh, I don't see anything down here. I kind of thought there might have been a a loot crate or something in here. But I guess not. Okay. I want to go back over to where the artifact was briefly. I can't pick up the second one. And I don't have an otter. Some bags there, but that's just going to be fun. Spiders of the Onyx or something. And I don't need any berries. Yeah, they bring these, um, they let you come in here. There's lots of, uh, like obsidian in here, lots of, uh, you know, rich metal nodes. But I mean, how, how would you ever, you can't fit anything big in here to carry it, right? So how would you ever get it out? That's pretty much it. That's pretty much the whole cave. Uh, there's... We'll go up this way, because this is the... Uh... But this... Connects with the branch that we came down on, just over here. Right here. So that's pretty much it. Um, there is a little bit of a... Of a pub. And I don't think there's anything at the bottom of it, but right where the artifact is, you could go straight down in the berry. Um, in the water? But I don't think there's anything at the bottom, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, there may be another spot with a loot crate somewhere that didn't show up, or... But I, there's really... I don't think there's really any good loot crates in this... Uh, in this cave, so... You know what? We'll go up out this direction. So, I don't think I missed anything. Looks like we had two... Explorer notes. I thought there was usually three Explorer notes in these things. Perhaps I missed one, but not a big deal. So my plan for this, uh, for this series is gonna be to run, you know, we're just gonna run through these caves. Collect the artifacts. This is a little shortcut. You can jump down there, but I don't think it saves you much time. Uh, so we're going to run through these caves. We're going to collect the artifacts. I guess we're heading out. Or did we freeze up? No? Oh, okay, good. Good, good, good. Okay, guys, so I came back in the cave. Because I was pretty sure there were three uh, artif three uh, explorer notes in here. And of course, there's one right next to the artifact that I just didn't pick up. So, uh, Which one is this? This is the Aranio. Okay. So, I was being dumb. <laughs> just to confirm, Herf is dumb. Okay, so uh, that was it. I figured if we're in here, we might as well uh, poke at it. So the artifact hasn't come back yet, not that I could pick up a second one. So we will eventually come back here, but yeah, like I said, I think what I'm going to do is, for this series, is I'm going to run around, we're going to collect all the, uh, all the artifacts, and 
probably... Uh, am, honestly, I'm just going to teleport to the bosses, to the boss arenas, you know, when we get to that point. When we have uh, our army of Rexes, which we haven't even started breeding, so, I mean, we're, we're pretty far off from doing that. Um, also, for all the caves on this uh, map... Yeah, I'm trying to think if there's another one we can do right here without grappling hooks and other things, because, uh... Let's see, there are ten caves on the island. Uh, two of them are underwater, so we're not equipped to do that. We don't have scuba gear here and stuff. Uh, nor do we have a capable... We, we do have the Megalodon. And, uh... What else did we tame? We tame a Basilo? I can't remember what we tamed. Oh, I thought we had another underwater. Oh, jeez, I can't remember. It wasn't a Tuzo. I can't remember. Maybe we didn't. Um, maybe I was thinking I wanted to tame a Basil. <laughs> uh, either way, so we have... Um, I'll have to go check our... Cryopods. I mean, I would have done it on uh, Ragnarok, so I don't know. Maybe it's just the Megalodon I'm thinking of. Um, but yeah, so we need an, uh, a good underwater critter. Uh, probably a Basilo and a, or a Tuso, one of those. Um, what else? So that's two of the caves. Uh, there's two snow caves, one of which is the crazy hard one. Uh, that we're gonna need the Allosauruses for, so we, we can't go in there. Uh, the other one... is also up in the... Uh, in the snowy area. It's way up in the northwest. But at least on single-player uh, Xbox... we are... Uh, we have an issue where the... The, um, the artifact doesn't spawn correctly. So it's generally not there when you go in. So I will go through the effort to go up there and look and make sure it's not there before we spawn it in and hand it to ourselves. But that one's actually pretty easy to get to because that's just a quick, uh, you know, basically you go in there and you keep turning right and then you end up at the artifact uh, if it's actually there. So it's pretty simple to get. So that's what... Plus this one here is that's half the caves. There's the cave over on the Carnivore Island here, which is uh, you really best off with grappling hooks. There, there's the lava cave. You also want grappling hooks for, and I can't remember. Uh, there's a jungle cave. There's another cave just over here. On the other side of the Redwoods, um... Jungle Cave... And I'm missing one, I think, but... One of the caves we can actually go... We could go try the Jungle Cave. Uh... But you know what? I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna head back to the Red, Oblic uh, Red Obelisk and sort of, um... And reset. And, uh, you know, maybe we'll just... We'll do that on the cave in, in uh... In the next episode, so... Um, yeah, this is me being unprepared. Not sure what I was going to do in this episode. Not sure if I had time to do two caves or uh, or just the one. Maybe we'll just do one cave prep. So guys, I think we're going to go try the jungle cave next. I'm going to head back to the red obelisk and just dump some stuff. But uh, we'll do that one in the next episode. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. And if you find yourself enjoying what, what we're doing here, uh, throw us a like and subscribe. It really would help us out. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Thanks.